Hello. In this session, we're going to use a loop band to exercise. Now, if you don't have a band that's a continuous loop that stretches, you can make one out of one that's long and just tie it into a shape that works for you. Right? You can always put your legs together, wrap it around, and make a nice knot that's secure to get it to be uh, the same sort of diameter as this one is. This is a fancy one because it's adjustable and it's um, soft on the inside, so it's a bit more pleasant than just a uh, normal elastic. You're gonna put the band around your thighs. You can use a pillow or a towel or nothing. Right? You might find that once you use something behind your head, like a small pillow, it becomes rather addictive because it feels nice. Arms by your side, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, keeping your feet where they are, small arch to your lower back, Press your knees away from each other gently. Try not to press your lower back to the floor. Then inhale to release that. Relax your shoulders. As you exhale, if the band slides down towards your hips, that's okay. Easy. You can let it stay there or you can adjust it back up as you want to. Again, easy. Anywhere from your knee to your hip is great. Three. Really great job. Easy. Again, breathe. Relaxing your shoulders. Two. Uh-huh. Keep that gentle small arch to your lower back. Just easy. Just like the arch you have to the back of your neck, just not as big. Now you can keep one leg still and just move the other leg without twisting the hips. And then return. You can take your hands to your hips here, feel the bones, and try and keep the bones still. You'll feel the tissues between your fingers and bones sliding around, the sinew and soft tissue. That's okay. You want to keep the bones still. If you're not sure what the bone is, if you press firmly down without pain or bruising, you'll feel a hard knuckle-like mat, knuckle bones that are uh, pushing back into you, stay. Now get the other leg to go out to the side, just the one leg moving, other leg tries to stay still. And again, easy, breathe, four. I don't mean to imply that all bones are like knuckles, because in fact knuckles are cartilage and bone. I mean it's a firm, really firm substance that you cannot change by pushing pressure on it. It won't slip or slide. Easy, two more. Gently breathe, relaxing your shoulders, two. Uh-huh, one more time. Again, easy breathe. Yeah, that was really great. Now you're gonna exhale, slide one leg on the floor away from you long. Keep a small arch to lower, but the leg may not go completely straight, and drag it back into. Same leg again. Again, stretch it long, four, keeping the other leg very still, and drag it in. Again, easy, keep the heel on the floor for now. Three, can you relax your shoulders more gently? Easy, two. Again, putting something behind your head will really help you relax your shoulders as well. I can't advocate enough for having something to elevate your head off the floor just even a little bit. Won't really make a difference to your practice. Bring it back in, other leg sliding, because that's all exercises, is just practice. Easy. And fold it in for practicing movements. Breathe deeply for exercise is just the concerted practice of movement in a thoughtful pattern. Three. Easy. They're even and symmetrical as much as possible. Again, easy breathe. Two. Wide across your throat, relaxing your shoulders. Again, easy reach one. Mm -hmm. Really good job. I'm going to slide the other leg long by itself, relax your shoulders, and then drag it in. Then the other leg, easy breathe. Great job here. Control, four more alternating. Small arch to your lower back. Your lower back is right where your waist is, in case you're wondering. Your lower back is between the lower ribs and your pelvis, your hips, three. And draw it in, two more. I think the lower back is visually higher than most people think. It's not your tailbone, though that is part of your uh, lower back area. It's a part of your pelvis more and your uh, sacrum. Your lower back is generally considered to be your lumbar spine and the top of your pelvis. Easy, stay. You're going to exhale, bend one leg forward to keep your little arch to your lower back, and then return. Easy, other leg. Again, breathe deeply, slow. Uh -huh. So I personally, other side again, would distinguish between the lumbar vertebrae, your spinal column of your lower back, and the pelvis part of your lower back. When I say lower back, I tend to generally mean your lumbar vertebrae and the top of your pelvis, which goes through your tailbone, very deeply. I don't mean the whole back of your hips, back of your pelvis is what I'm saying. Easy, so it kind of goes down into a chevron shape to where your tailbone is. Easy, your lower back is not your tuchus, your bum, your popo, right? It, the lower back goes down to where the, there's a proper name for it, but the crack um, that separates the, both hemispheres of your, of your uh, gluteal muscles. Easy, your honey, your derriere. Easy, breathe, your popo. Easy, slide one leg along the floor, now that leg stays, easy. Gonna try and pick up the other leg in the air, bent. The band might move a bit, that's okay, and then return it down. Again, easy, gentle arch to your lower back, four, relaxing your shoulders, good everyone, control. 
Again, easy, gentle lift three. Really fantastic work there. Easy, gentle lift two. Mm -hmm. Try not to move your lower back. Keep it very still, easy breathe. Put it down, drag the leg in, slide the leg long. Now pick up the new bent knee, little arch to your lower back, five if you can, wide across your throat. Again, gently lift your four. Nice, everyone, easy breathe. Again, gentle, open the collarbone wide, three. Really nice job. Again, easy breathe, two. Mm -hmm. One more time. Control, easy breathe. Really great job. Now, two legs out long. Now, your legs may not go completely straight. They don't have to. You can always put a little towel rolled up or a pillow behind your knees to make it more comfortable for you here. Easy. Then you're going to try and lift one straight-ish leg up and then bring it down. Other straight or straight-ish leg lifts. Nine. Take your time. Wide across your throat there. Stretch. Lengthen. Eight. Good, everyone. Easy. Control. Stretch. Reach. Seven. Beautiful job. Excellent work here. Stretch, lengthen, six. Very nice work. Control, stretch, reach, five. Excellent work there. Easy. Stretch, four. That's right. Beautiful job. Control, three. Excellent work there. Just two more. Stretch, two. Mm, one more time. Easy stretch. Yeah. And then drag one leg in, two legs in. Adjust your band if you need to. You can keep the pillow or remove it or just use a smaller pillow here for the next one. Feet hip distance apart, knees bent. You're going to round your lower back towards the floor. Try to touch the floor again. Push your feet down to the ground to press the hips up. You're not lifting your hips. You're pushing the floor down to drive the hips. Easy. And as you reverse, slowly roll down. Bottom rib down. Relax your shoulders. Back of the lower back to the floor. Back of the hips to the floor. Hips on the floor. Little arch to your lower back. Return. Again. Exhale. Round your lower back. Press your feet down. Push the floor down to drive the hips up. You're not lifting your lower back. You're pushing the floor away. That's a different emphasis. Breathing in. Exhale, reverse. Roll down. Get the back of your bottom ribs to the floor. Relax your shoulders. Back of your lower back to the floor. Great job. Back of your hips to the floor. Back of the hips. Little arch to your lower back. One more time. Again, exhale, round. Press your feet down to roll the hips up. Wide across your throat and shoulders. Really great job. Big breath in. Nice work, everyone. Axle reverse, roll down, bottom rib down, and back of the lower back to the floor, back of the hips to the floor, hips on the floor, little arch to your lower back. Great job. I'm going to remove the band here. You can return to your pillow or not, your choice. I'm going to put the band around your wrist. You knew we weren't done with this. I'm breathing in. Now you're going to actually going to push the arms away from each other, and then really it's a small motion because the band is taut. Again, easy breathe for it's not meant to expand a lot. Breathe deeply. Control, three. Really nice work there. Easy, gentle. Small arch to your lower back, two. Really nice job. Control, easy, breathe. Uh -huh. Now, you're going to pull the band apart and rotate one arm above and the other arm below, crossing the arm bones. Easy. And then return. Keep the band stretching and then go the other way. Little arch to your lower back. Again, crossing the arm bones. Again, I am stretching the band a little bit, as much as I can. Easy, but it's not its biggest stretch. Easy. Let's do two more each way. Again, cross the arm bones. Keep that band taut. Adjust if you need to. It's going to walk down towards your elbows. That's okay. Return, and then adjust it to your wrist if you need to again. Now, you're going to pull the band apart and reach overhead gently. Stretch. A little arch to your leg. Make sure that you don't increase the arch to your lower back. And return. So think about where the back of your ribs are here. As the arms reach overhead where your lower ribs are, try not to increase that space where the, between your lower ribs and the floor. Easy. So your spine is not changing shape here to reach the arms overhead. Three. You can pull that band apart just a little bit to help you. Easy. Gently. Breathe deeply too. Uh -huh, one more time. Control. Easy reach. Really great job. Now bend one leg in the air tabletop. Reach the arm and leg away from each other and then fold it in. Again, reach the leg and arm only as far as your lower back stays very still. Four, you may not go as low to the floor as you would prefer. No big deal. Again, stretch long. Three, fantastic. Good, everyone. Return. Again, easy. Stretch. Two, keep that band pulling apart just a little bit. Now, the straight leg stays straight. Straight knee lifts as the arms return. And straight knee lowers. You can flex to lift and point to lower. You don't have to. Breathe deeply, gently. Four, try to make that knee really straight. Don't lift up just any old leg. Try and lift up a straight knee. Three. Take your time, gentle. Head resting, good everyone. Breathe deeply, two. One more time. Keep that band gently pulling taut. Easy. Bend the knee in. Return the arms two feet down. Little rest for the arms. You're welcome. Break is over. Other leg bent in the air. Here we go. Pull the band apart a bit. Stretch the leg long and low. You got it. And then bend it in to return. Easy. 
Again, take your time, gently flex and point to return. You don't have to if the ankle's too much for you. When you bend that leg, and make sure the foot's not coming across your body, standing in line with that knee, three. Two more, easy, gently. Small arch to your lower back, two, good, everyone. Come through easy, straight knee lift. Straight knee lift as the arms return. Straight knee lowers, you can point to lower. You can flex, lift, if it's too much for you, don't worry about it. Easy, breathe. And lower, four, take your time. Again, maintain that gentle, small arch to your lower back here, three the whole time. Keep that band gently stretching, straighten that knee as well, too. Head resting, gentle arch to your lower back. You're doing really well. Bend that knee in, return the arm, elbows, knees down. Arms open, no band for a hot second. Let your knees twist to the side. Yay! Oh, that feels so good. And then bring it back center. Let your knees go the other way. Rotate. Really nice job. Mm -hmm. And bring it back center. I'm going to slip the band back up to my thigh bones above my knee. I'm going to lay on my side. I'm changing props here because the pillow is not tall enough for me. Now, if laying on your side doesn't feel comfortable to your shoulders or hips, you can use a small rolled up towel or a small pillow under your ribs. You may find this a lot more comfortable. So again, feel free, use those props to your advantage. You want to be comfortable when you exercise. You don't want to be uncomfortable and then have to focus on moving joints when you're already uncomfortable to start. I don't mean laying in bed eating bonbons comfortable. I mean exercise comfortable. Now, top arm straight forward. Mm -hmm. Top arm, top knee lift, little arch to your lower back. Top arm, top knee lower. Feel free to add a weight to this top arm, a water bottle or a can of soup. Anything works for you. Nine, take your time. Gentle arch to your lower back. Breathe deeply, eight. So when this leg lifts, the lower back tends to want to round for a lot of people. Seven, try not to let that happen. Don't over, don't increase the arch. Six, but just don't sacrifice it or lose it. Breathe deeply. Push up against that band, five. Nice, everyone. Head resting, great job here. Again, gentle reach, four. Small arch to your lower back. Great job. Again, easy. Three, fantastic work, gentle. Easy to head resting, little arch to your lower back. Going to add the top knee and foot lifting with the arm. Here we go. Top knee and foot with the arm repeating. Ten. Again, try not to sacrifice the arch to your lower back. Nine when that leg rises. Let your head rest. Take your time. Gentle. Eight. Good one. Control. Easy. Gentle reach. Seven. Eyes and chest and hips facing forward directly, shutting out into space. Six. Try to keep the knee and foot the same height if you can. Five. Great job there. Easy. Gentle reach four, small little arch to your lower back. You're doing really well. Three, breaks are great, no big deal. Easy, reach two, mm -hmm. one more time. Control, the arm's gonna repeat. The leg's gonna press along away from you and then bend it back to you. Again, maintain that gentle arch to your lower back. Nine, the whole time here, breathe. Again, gentle press eight, letting your head rest the whole day. Control, reach along seven. Beautiful work, everyone. Easy, gentle. Again, stretch six, beautiful work. Control, head resting, no neck tension there. Five, really nice job. Control, easy. Four, that's really great work. Small arch to your lower back. Three, very good job, bend it in. Again, maintain that gentle arch to your lower back when that leg moves. The tendency is to forget about it and to, to lose that connection and rest. See, that wasn't so bad, right? Yeah, you're welcome. Let's do the other side. Mm -mm -mm. If my transitions are too quick for you, feel free to hit pause. Right. Again, you may find that you don't want the pillow in the same place or a pillow at all on one side, and that's okay, right? Because everyone's not the same. We're not the same side to side. There's something not the same left to right. Here, the pillow feels a little bit more high away from the floor than it does on the other side, but I'm going to still use it because it feels nice on my shoulder and my hip to give me some support so I'm not just pressing the whole underside of my arm towards the floor. Top arm straight forward, little arch to your low back, top arm, top knee lift. Oh, now this leg gets to work. Now both legs are actually working here, nine. Even though it doesn't look like it, that bottom leg is actually keeping you, helping you. <laughs> Eight, balance, breathe deeply. And when you lift the top leg, the bottom leg tries not to lift with it, seven. So it's actually working quite a bit here. Six, head resting, eyes and chest facing forward, gentle. Reaching five, small arch to your lower back the whole day. Control four, good everyone, head resting, you got this. Easy breathe, three, nothing doing. Control, easy, gentle, two, reach your tailbone back like a duck's tail, head resting. This bottom arm is working again to help you balance. Now top knee and foot lift with the arm repeating. 10, yeah, take your time, take a break, no big deal. Head resting, nine, push up against that band. Easy reach, eight, nice everyone, control. 
gentle reach seven small arch to your lower back here breathe stretch lengthen six let your head rest the whole day here control five nice work everyone. breathe deeply gentle four little arch to your lower back control three yeah very nice gentle reach and breathe two head resting eyes and chest facing forward gentle breathe you can always take a break the arm repeats top leg goes long oh and then bend in now you can feel that leg has been working the whole time nine gentle arch to your lower back even though that bottom this was the bottom leg on the other side eight so you can feel that it was still active because you shouldn't be this tired right seven from three little rep three little uh sequences six easy breathe Take your time. Really push that leg long and low away from you. Five. Gentle arch to your lower back. Head resting. Stretch long away from you. Four. Good one. Breathe deeply. Stretch it long. Three. Excellent job. Little arch to your lower back. Stretch it long. Two. Mm -hmm. One more time. Control. Stretch it long. Bend it in and let it rest all the way down. That was fantastic. Now we're going to lay on the front of our body. I'm going to move the band down to around my shins. And this band I can actually make a little bit smaller in diameter. So if I can do that quickly, that'd be great. All right, just a little smaller is gonna help me out. If your band isn't adjustable like that, don't worry about it. Now, I'm using the pillow here as a support for my pubic bone to my lower ribs. And this pillow is firm, so when I lay on it, it doesn't deflate, right? It can support me. I also recommend you use a towel here or a block for your forehead. That will feel much better for a great deal of many, of great many people. All right, so I'm supported on the pillow, palms on the floor, elbows on the floor, resting down. Easy. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to bend one knee, keeping your knees on the floor, and then return. And then bend the other knee nine. And the strap might be around your knees, that's okay. Easy, breathe. Eight, gentle. Control, gentle, reach. Seven, nice, everyone, breathe deeply. Again, six. Keep your knees on the floor, breathe deeply, five. It's not a big muscle activation. They're just gentle for control. Breathe deeply, three, nice, everyone. Easy breathe, two, mm-hmm. One more time, easy breathe, one. Stay, now, you're gonna slide one leg long on the floor away from you, easy. You're gonna press the hip, the front of the hip into that pillow and hover that leg in the air and lower down. Again, hover, nine, and lower down. Try not to press the other knee against the floor. Eight, let it just rest. Breathe deeply, lengthen, seven. Mm -hmm. Reach that leg long away from you. Six, head resting, palms and elbows on the floor. Stretch, five, really great job here. Control, stretch, lengthen, four, really great job. Easy, reach, three, mm -hmm. two more there. Two, mm -hmm. yeah, I got it. One, let that leg rest down. Now, the other leg is long. Gonna press the front of the other hip against the pillow and float that leg away from you, not towards the sky, reach it away from you towards the wall and then let it rest down. Again, let the other knee rest on the floor, nine. There's a big tendency for that knee to push into the floor to lift, that lifts your hips up off the cushion. So relax that leg that's on the floor, seven. It doesn't need to do anything but just rest, breathe deeply, six. Control, good about, <clears throat> stretch that leg long away from you, five. Nice work there. Easy, stretch lengthen, four, really nice job. Let your body rest on that pillow, three. You can pay attention to this, again, this leg that's down, two, you'll find it slowly, 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 pushes more against the floor the whole day, one, then rest all the way down. Now, as you lift one leg long leg we just pressed, you're gonna also hover your torso away from the floor, looking at the floor in front of your face, then lengthen down. Now do the other leg. Other leg and torso, breathe deeply, nine, you got it. Then all the way down. Again, you reach from the crown of the head across the room, not your eyes and face. Facing, looking down to the floor. So it's the crown of the head that reaches seven. I want you to move your upper middle back more than you do your neck and chin, six. It's really easy to move your neck and chin. There's not many limitations there, five. It's harder to move the uh, middle of your spine, breathe deeply. Four, mostly you're moving above and below the middle of the spine. The middle of your spine is very hard to move because of the ribs are all together with cartilage. Easy, breathe. Easy. Two. Uh-huh, one more time. Just going to get your move your neck and lower back less. And the places that are right above your middle ribs, the place above and the place below. Now, I don't know if that made any sense. One finger from one hand. Slide it long. Hover the torso on opposite leg. The fingers can be on the floor easier, off the floor harder. Fold it in to return. Other opposite arm and leg stretch across. Nine. 
let the other knee rest on the floor. So again, try not to press that knee in the floor to help the other leg out. It just wants to help. We don't want it to help, right? Just let it rest and wait for its turn. Seven. Very good job, everyone. Control it down. Again, length and extend. Breathe deeply. Six. Fantastic. And then return. Great job there. Length and stretch. Breathe deeply. Five. Nice work. All the way down. Control. Length and stretch. Four. That's really good. And then lengthen down. Again, stretch it long. Three. Let that leg rest on the floor. Easy. Two more here. Stretch it long. Two. Mm -hmm. One more time. Control. Exhale. Or just keep breathing. Now, we're going to do the same sort of arm and leg, and it's a lot more balanced. So, same sort of leg. Feel free to get the hands on the floor to get that balance. Um, not so aggressive for you. Lengthen all the way down. If you're in full one over challenge, lift the arm up. Ooh, and lengthen down. <laughs> Breathe deeply. Again, stretch, lengthen. Eight. Beautiful. Fold all the way down. Again, look at the pillow right in front of your face. Seven. Let the other leg rest on the floor completely. Stretch, lengthen. Six. I'm not using my arms on the floor either. The arm and leg are just resting. Breathe deeply, five. That's a really hard side for me, that left arm, left leg combo. Breathe deeply, four. I'm much more secure on that right arm, right leg lifting. Breathe deeply, three. Yeah, two more there. Again, reach, lengthen, extend. Two, mm-hmm, fold it down. Again, reach, lengthen, extend. Fold it down. Fold it down. Really good work there. Now, arms are gonna open wide apart. You can have your fingers and or palms on the floor to your choice. You're going to hover your torso here. You're going to lift both arms up and then down. Look at the floor in front of your face. Breathe deeply. Nine. Take your time. Easy. Again, gentle. Eight. Notice my chest is not very high off the floor. My knees stay resting down. Seven. My body stays very still. Six. It's just my arms. You're going to feel your shoulder blades hopefully move together here. Five. Easy. Breathe. Control. Reach. Lengthen. Four. Excellent work, everyone. Control. Gentle. Three. Body stays nice and stable. Breathe deeply. Two. Mm -hmm. One more time. Easy. Reach one. Arms down. Rest all the way down. And then fold the arms into. Roll over onto your side. Remove the strap from your legs. Now this next one, we're going to do kneeling or standing if kneeling doesn't work for you. All right. I'm going to use a block. You can use a pillow, whatever feels better for you. I think I have to adjust the camera. It's just me here, please. There's no camera cue, crew, so excuse the uh, transition. I'm gonna have one knee on the block and the other foot forward. This knee that's forward, the foot and knee are trying to be in front of the hip as much as you can. This foot that behind you, try not to make it off to one side or the other, it tries to be behind that leg directly. Take the uh, band in your wrist again. Easy breathe. Take your time. Now, Body perpendicular, trying to have the hips over the knee and over the block directly. So you should have your ear, shoulder, ribs, hips and knee in a perpendicular line to the ground as much as you can. If you're forward, that's okay. Just acknowledge that you're forward and maybe over time thinking about moving those hips back to be perpendicular over the block without pain to your knee. Now, I'm going to stretch the band apart and draw my shoulder blades together behind me when I do so and then release, easy. So as I push my arm bones away from each other, I'm also drawing my shoulder blades together more. Four, take your time, easy. Again, shoulder blades, roll the top of that shoulder back. Three, so things to watch out for there is the shoulder does not roll forward like that. Two, right? Pretend there's a spot or a searchlight on the top of the shoulder. As the arm bones go back, that top of the shoulder, the search of the spotlight goes up into the ceiling and doesn't face forward and then return. Two more there. Again, that may feel like a detail that's lost and why we're doing that. It's because I want your whole shoulder to move back in space and not just part of your shoulder. Easy breathe. And that's all we're doing. We're going to switch knees there. Really good job. Again, it doesn't feel good to you. You can do it standing. There's nothing wrong with doing it standing, right? You can do it with one leg forward and leg back or just standing with two legs hip distance parallel. Again, stack the hips up, get your feet aligned, hip pause if you need to. So again, it's the top of the shoulder that moves back as I stretch the band apart. Shoulder blades draw together deeply and then release that. Again, shoulder blades open to the back. They go towards the back. Pull that band apart four. Good, everyone. Easy breathe. Again, pull the shoulder blades back. Stretch that band apart three. Really nice job. Control. Again, pull it apart. Stretching two. Mm -hmm. One more time. Really great job. Again, pull it apart. Easy. Yeah, see? And that wasn't so bad. Really great job. 
Come on to your hands and knees. Excellent work. You're going to take the wrist into the band, make the band wider if you need to. Now here, to get the hands shoulder distance apart, you're going to have to stretch the band to start. <laughs> you can't quite see me there. There we go. Easy. If your wrists have difficulty here, elevate your wrist uh, palms off the floor with two evenly folded towels. Breathing in. All we're doing is bring our chin to your chest, tail to your face, round your spine backwards. Control. Relax your shoulders, chin to chest. And then come forward, chest up, extend, arch. Great job. Again, easy. Put, keep the band stretched, chin to chest, tail to face, round your spine. Really great job. Come forward, extend, arch. Just two more there. Again, chin to chest, tail to face. Push the back of your body towards the ceiling behind you as you round back in space. Control. Mm -hmm. Come forward and arch. One more time. Again, chin to chest, tail to face, back of the body towards the skyline behind you. Rounding back. You got it. And then bring it forward and arch. And then rest. Excellent job. So I hope you enjoyed that series with a nice loop band. Again, you can make any band a loop as long as you tie it to a small enough uh, diameter circle for you. And you can also do this whole series without that. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Oh well. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to getting stronger with you in the future. Yours in good health. Take care.